Hi, and welcome back to I'm a Happy Enchilada, and a big welcome to our first timers, and thanks for joining us. I'm Don Culver, and I'll be your host. And today, we have a topic that I didn't know much about before doing the research. It's living in your head, and I think you're going to enjoy it. And if you are living in your head, I'll share what that really means and some ways to help you stop doing it. So come join us on an interesting and enlightening enchilada style ride. So first, what does it mean to be living in your head? Well, when you're living in your head, you are attempting to control things outside your control through over analysis. The problem solving mind thinks it has all of the solutions leading to constant thinking. Whoa, well that sounds like some good old overthinking to me, you know? <laughs> well, let's continue here. Next, is it normal to have conversations in your head? Yes, thought chatter is completely normal for human beings. Usually, whenever our attention isn't occupied, a stream of mental associations flows through our minds. Thoughts about the future or the past, fragments of a song or conversations, daydreams about alternative realities, etc. And here's another interesting point. A critical inner voice may develop during times of extreme stress. It's also sometimes seen in mental health conditions, such as anxiety and depression. In such cases, your mind may engage in negative self-talk by criticizing the way you work, socialize, and participate in family circles. And a couple more questions answered. Why do I argue with myself in my head? Well, fighting with yourself is normally caused by stress, whether it is family, work, friends, bills, whatever, because you are unable to solve a situation on, uh, externally, your mind tries to solve it internally. Whoa, that's pretty interesting. And why do I make up scenarios in my head? People may learn the habit of catastrophizing because they've had a bad experience before that they didn't see coming. To protect themselves in the future, they start imagining the worst possible scenarios in every situation because they don't want to be caught off guard again. So now, how do we get a grip on all this and stop living in our heads? Well, here's some suggestions to get you out of your noisy head and into a calm zone. Release judgment of your thoughts. Meditators know we are not our thoughts. Recite a mantra and stick with it. Notice outer noises. Focus on someone else. Remember to stay in the now. And here's some additional ways to stop being trapped in your mind. Be curious about your thoughts. Bring attention to your thoughts without acknowledging them as true. Diffuse your thoughts. Try labeling them based on the feeling they are rooted in. And change your response. Well, there are several good ideas for getting out of your head and getting more control over your thoughts. And remember, when you try new practices to improve your life, it takes time, patience, and repetition before the new ideas become healthy habits and begin to change your life for the better. Don't ever give up now. You're worth it, okay? Well, that's all I've got. So until next time, God bless and be a happy enchilada. Bye.